Chris is energetic. Athletic. Hilarious. He's too funny. Intense. Uh, his motor's always going, and he's just kind of rolling this in everything he does. I mean, just coming in and running back, you know, went in about 235, 240. Um, by the end of the summer, I was up to 260. As the years went on, you know, I never really just got back down, you know, to the actual weight, you know, for me to play running back. So, you know, we always talked about it, you know, me moving the defense a lot. You know, one day uh, we just made it happen, and from then on, I've been playing defense. He's really moved around. I know he played tight end, defensive end, and he really found his niche right there at defensive tackle. Um, and he never got discouraged by that. The role he's had to to switch into is, you know, I think everything benefited him. And I think he made the decision because, you know, we, we needed it. He embraced it, of course. He was he was happy about it. Uh, he just wanted the opportunity to play, and he has, he's has he got that opportunity. He's gone out and he's made the best of the chance he's got. And now, you know, he's our senior leader. He's our starting to tackle, and he makes a lot of plays for us, and he keeps guys very in tune in the game. And, you know, guys respect Chris because he's that type of player. The horn show pressure along that line. They got a shot at Bell, intercepted as a result. His first interception of the season. Touchdown, Texas! Big Chris Whaley, 300 pounds, rumbles in. And I do mean rumbles. It's fun watching him in the OU game because all of his positions played into one play. You know, he caught the ball. He ran, he had to tuck the ball, and bulldoze over someone into the end zone. Instantly, I went back to the days of when he used to play running back, and I feel sorry for the person who had to make contact with him. He just dropped back and played his assignment well, and he made the interception. There's no question, once he got the ball in his hands, he knew what to do with it. When we got to the bench, I was looking for him, and I guess he was over there hyperventilating, overheating, and <laughs> but when he got back over, <laughs> I congratulated him and said, man, you're a legend, you're a legend now. I mean, that was legendary and people are gonna remember that forever. You know, when I looked up, you know, I seen I had enough field, you know, I can actually try to run and score a touchdown. Uh, and then when I seen the quarterback, uh, I mean, the only thing went through my head was just to run through him. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna be denied. You know, not too many chances where a defensive tackle gets that opportunity, you know, to drop back into coverage and catch an interception. So I knew that I had to capitalize on that opportunity. Chris has really matured. He's a big time senior leader. He, he's not afraid to speak up. He gets together before the games on the 50-yard line and uh, gives a little speech, a little, a little inspirational speech for the game. And uh, he's just a great guy and a great leader and a good guy to be around. He's a motivator, you know. He's he's one of those tough guys. He's uh, you know he expects excellence from his teammates and demands respect from the other team. I want to be remembered as as you know. You know, the guy that, that came out every day and practiced with an edge and played with an edge, but also, you know, a good guy. 